Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday, so it is weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week. I had a crazy week and we're also going to talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic and I'm going to share my weigh in. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a Friday video as well as any of the five videos that I upload every single week. And Sunday I have the first video, the first stages of building our brand new house. That video is coming out, it's a vlog, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So subscribe and turn your bell on. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, questions, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I had a little bit of a crazy week. We're gonna talk about that, and then we'll talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and I'll share my weigh-in for the week. So this week, like I said, it was crazy, but it was actually a really exciting week. We started on Monday the design of our new house. So if you missed my huge life update video that I put out a couple Sundays ago, I will link it for you. Troy and I are moving. We're actually building a brand new custom house house in a town about eight miles away from us and we started the design center process on Monday. So basically what that means is we went to the design center on site for four full days from 9.30 in the morning to 4 p.m. And we basically are designing everything in our new home. We're picking all of the finishes, the colors, the counters. It was a lot. I'm not going to lie. It was a lot. It was overwhelming. It was very expensive. We spent way more, almost double on upgrades than we thought we were going to spend. And we still to this day are still going back and forth with some of the choices that we made and maybe taking something out, putting something in. So it was a busy week. The design center, like I said, was Monday through Thursday. Today's the first day we don't have to go, but we actually have to meet with the electrician, the electrical design on Monday. So we're not done. We're not done, but we did make it through four full days, eight hour days of designing our new home and we love it. You guys, we love the aesthetic that we picked out. Like I said on Sunday, I'm going to have the vlog, so kind of the beginning phases of this house, finding the land, going through the design, going through everything. You're gonna have that video live on Sunday, so make sure your bell's on so you don't miss it, and I'm going to show you kind of the decor, the aesthetic that we're going with on the inside. It was really fun. It was just, like I said, really long days, and with that, we were gone all day, which means that we ate out lunch every single day, Monday through Thursday. They actually gave us lunch at the grill on Monday, and then we were on our own the rest of the week. So I ate out a lot this week. I had to pack snacks and things to bring with me to the design center because we didn't leave other than about an hour for lunch every day. And by the time I got home, it was dinner, so I really had to pre-plan, bring my snacks and things with me. So it was just a lot. It was, it was a lot this week, not to mention my normal work, coaching calls, filming videos, editing videos. It was a very, very, very busy week, but like I said, it was a really exciting week. And now that we've been through design, the next step is to break ground and start building our house. I, I'm excited for breaking ground. I think that that's definitely going to be a really exciting time for us. I wanna be there when they actually break ground on our new house. We really wanna be there through the whole process because we're documenting everything for you. We want, I wanna vlog it all. I want you to know the good, the bad, the ugly on building a new house, especially if it's something you're considering down the road or you're just curious on what does the new build process look like these days. So I'm definitely going to be vlogging it all. It's been really fun, but it's been stressful. But I would say more than stressful, it's been rewarding, fun, and exciting. I was able to get in all of my workouts this week. I went to boot camp, I went to the gym, and actually this last Sunday, I climbed Tumamak Hill in Tucson with my friend Lisa. It is the big hill that's straight up for a mile and a half, and then you go back down. The weather was beautiful, so we saw the most gorgeous sunrise, and what was really exciting for the first time, and some of you are gonna be like, girl, you're crazy, but for the first time since moving to Arizona, I saw a tarantula, and I was so excited. I wanted to see a scorpion, a tarantula, and a rattlesnake. Those are things, and a javelina. Those are things I wanted to see when I moved to Arizona, and I've seen a rattlesnake, 
I have little scorpions in my garage all the time. I see lots of javelinas, and the one thing I hadn't seen in real life, like in the wild, was a tarantula. And when Lisa and I were hiking Tumamoc, we're, you know, walking along talking, and I see this thing kind of crossing the road, and I go, is that a tarantula? And like, I literally ran over to it. I mean, I didn't want to scare it, but I wanted to see it, and it was... It was this big, like, hairy black and red tarantula, and it's just moving across the path. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I was so excited to see one in the wild, and actually there was an older lady walking behind us, and she says, is that a tarantula, and runs over. It was just really exciting. Now, do I want one as a pet? No. Do I want to touch it? No. Do I think that they're kind of gross? Absolutely. But one of the things I wanted to see was just a tarantula in the wild, and I got to see that on Sunday. So that was really the highlight of my hike. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I was excited about the tarantula. I really focused on getting in my water this week, just knowing I was going to be out of the house most of the week. I made sure that I packed protein bars, protein shakes so that I got in my protein. I just tried to be mindful this last week. I was not good at tracking my food. I only tracked my food a couple of days this last week just because the full day of design was a full day. And by the time I got home, I was just kind of over it and just wanted to chill and relax with the dogs. We typically don't like leaving our dogs that long and we were gone all day long. So I just had to I just had to prioritize the things that needed to prioritize. And for me, that was getting through design, getting in my activity, drinking my water and eating my protein. So overall, I feel like I navigated a crazy week pretty well. I will say one thing that did suffer a little bit for me this week was my sleep. And I think it's because I was just excited about the design process. I would wake up thinking about things. I would go to bed thinking about things. So my sleep suffered a little bit. And then on Tuesday, we had massive thunder and lightning storms at 2 a.m. And Lola, right there, Lola is petrified of thunder. So I was up with her from 2 to like 3.20 a.m. on Tuesday, ended up just getting up at that point. So I got about five hours of sleep on Tuesday, then had to go to design for the whole day. So my sleep definitely suffered this week. And typically I sleep great. I do take Stellis, a sleep supplement. I highly recommend it. I will link it for you. I love it. Troy and I have been taking it for a long, long, long time. So I usually sleep really well, but I think just the mix of anxiety and excitement and thinking about the new house just it was my sleep was a mess this week so I'm really hoping to focus on getting in my seven to nine hours this next week so overall I had a great week it was a good week it was an exciting week it was a stressful week but overall I am proud of myself for I'm happy with my week and how I navigated that before I jump into my weigh-in post my cycle I did mention I was on my cycle last week that is over we're going to talk about my weigh-in. Let's chat first about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to build meals to keep you strong and energized. Lifting weights is really important for strength, for building and maintaining lean muscle. But that's not the only thing we need to focus on for strength. We need to focus on the meals and the foods that we're consuming. You want to make sure you're getting the right mixture of nutrients. You're getting the right amount of the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals in your food. So I want to share some tips and tricks from Weight Watchers with you on how to build these strong, lean, healthy meals. So try this. Step number one, outline your day or your week of eating. Decide when and where you'll eat and how many points, calories, or macros you'll use. Step two, start with a protein base. For each meal, choose a zero point or low point, low calorie, low fat protein option. Things like chicken or turkey breast, which will give you 24 grams of protein. Pork tenderloin, only two points for three ounces. Non-fat Greek yogurt, also high in calcium. Or salmon or other oily fish, which is going to give you vitamin D to help with calcium absorption. Step three, add in your fruits, vegetables, and or grains. Try to work in produce that delivers extra calcium like kale and broccoli. And step four, finalize your plan. Think about what sauces or dressings you'll use and how you'll prepare your meal. My favorite part of this topic is protein and building all of your meals and snacks around protein. I preach this. I talk to my coaching clients about this. I live and die by this. All of your meals and snacks should be centered around protein. Then you add your carbs and your fats, but protein is the basis of all of your meals. And really when we lose weight, it's very different than losing fat. Weight loss is made up of lean muscle, fat, and water. Fat is fat. And typically we lose weight, especially if we follow Weight Watchers or we're on a very low calorie low fat diet. And with that, we're going to lose lean muscle. And we really don't want to do that. We want to try to preserve that lean muscle, stay strong, fit, healthy. This is what's going to make you not skinny fat, but 
healthy and lean and strong. We want that body. We don't want skinny fat. We don't want flabby skinny fat. We want strong, healthy, and lean. And you really have to focus on maintaining and building lean muscle while losing fat. That's where protein, calcium, and vitamin D come into play. So protein research shows higher protein intake helps preserve muscle and promote more fat loss on a weight loss journey. Protein also contributes to your overall bone health. Vitamin D and calcium on its own, calcium is known for maintaining and fortifying bones, but it works even harder when paired with vitamin D, which helps the body better absorb and hold on to calcium. Foods like sardines, milk, cheese, and certain cereals contain both. So making sure that you're eating a balanced diet, not all low fat foods, not all sugar free foods. Make sure you've got healthy fat in your diet. You're eating carbohydrates. You need carbohydrates and you're centering everything around protein and fiber. That's going to keep you full and satisfied and maintain that lean muscle. Again, we don't want skinny fat. We want lean, strong, and healthy. Let me know down below what are some of your favorite high protein foods. And if you want tips on how I get in my protein every day, you can watch my What I Eat in a vid Day videos every Wednesday or search protein on my channel. I have so many videos dedicated to protein foods, protein supplements. I can give you a ton of ideas. We can also talk about getting in your protein on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. So I'll have my nutrition coaching website at the top of the description box. And if you wanna know how much protein you're supposed to eat, get your macros and calories done. I will give you protein, fats, and carb goals along with food choices, portion sizes, breaking it down by meal. It's very, very comprehensive and it will help you lose the weight, keep it off, and not be skinny fat. Be long, lean, strong, and healthy. I love my protein, I love my fiber. It's really the staple of my diet. It's what's helped me lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss. Speaking of 140 pound weight loss, let's talk about my weigh-in. So last week I was on my cycle. I actually finished my cycle up at the beginning of this week. I started to feel back to normal, less bloated, less just blech than you feel on your cycle. And the scale, the scale liked me this week. When I stepped on the scale this morning, I am down point six pounds. So the little bit that I've gained over the last couple weeks is gone and I'm back down to my pretty much normal weight that I typically maintain. I want to remind you too that maintenance is not a number, it's a range. So I actually have a 10 pound window and I like to stay in that 10 pound window. If I get outside of that, we rein it in. I have luckily been able to maintain that 10 pound window now for a year and a half. I've been able to build lean muscle, be strong, fit, and healthy. I eat a lot of protein, a lot of fiber. And like I said, the scale liked me this week. I lost 0.6 pounds, which to me is a maintenance. I always say that really anything under a pound, I, I consider that maintenance, whether it's a point this, that gain or point this or that loss, I consider it a maintenance, which is exciting. I'm in maintenance. I'm maintaining we're gonna take it, especially with the crazy week and eating out literally every single day this week for lunch. So I'm really happy with how everything this week turned out. It was an exciting week. I'm so excited to share this whole journey with you guys. Let me know down below, how was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? What are your favorite go-to protein and fiber options? Let us know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss the first video in our new house vlog, as well as nutrition coaching, get your macros done, know your protein, book a coaching call so we can talk all about it. All of that is in the description box, along with discounts to my favorite healthy things and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Here's to an amazing, amazing weekend and a fantastic week. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.